kind of oh, lazy. Yeah. If you look at my position, my, my back is the heel, I'm sitting on it. If he was to push me with his hands or his feet, I could fall, okay? Never underestimate. Somebody might just go like this and push you, okay? So once I'm here, I want to always make sure I have an active toe in the back. So that now if he pushes me, I'm like, I'm ready to go. But if he never pulls me out of the guard, he's got to contend with that. I'm never on two knees. If I'm on two knees, the guy's going to pull you right into the guard, lock you up. And if he's got a good rubber guard, or he's got like some type of guard attack from close guard, those people can be very dangerous. Sometimes their legs are so strong you can't even open the guard. So the moment you, let's say he did an arm bar, for example, and, and he goes to arm bar and you get lucky, you pull out, and now he comes right back to the guard, you need to be right here. So what I don't never want to see from you guys is a guy goes arm bar, you pull out and he goes right back to guard. See that? If he goes right back to guard, we missed an opportunity. So he goes to the armbar, I'm just giving an example because this would be a, an example with his arms, his legs open. Now say I clear my elbow, he's gonna come right back to guard and I'm gonna be here. So my knee is up, active toes. Obviously be aware of sweeps. Sometimes when people see this, you know, they go, oh, well, I could be knocked over this way. I might post my hand on this side. If you knock me this way, you know, I have my post. Sometimes I use my knee and then I still keep this. As the guy recovers the guard and he comes back out, I never, as he grabs me, I'm always, I put my knee up. Front knee up. Sometimes you'll see this guard opening, the guy's close guard, uh, close guard, uh, close. and then I'll be pushing here and then open. See the knee is in this butt? Just drop it. Uh, you could do this or you could do this. Either. So once you push, your knee goes in the middle or you can drop the back knee and opt for a front knee. And now once you're here, you're, at least the guard doesn't close again. Yeah. And if he goes for a triangle, you know what, your, your knee is here. Yeah. See that? I can always pull out. If you're if you're playing around and your knee is down, boom, you get sucked in. You have nothing to brace against. So practice that. Front. A lot of times I'll say the phrase, front knee up. Front knee up, that way you've got this little shield to block them, okay? Sir. What about when a guy is he's trying to beat that frame? Let's say I'm passing and he has this frame here. I'm fighting. Right here? No, just let's say I got practice like uh, I'm fighting for this frame. It, this frame? This, oh, I think oh, I got that, 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 that one in though. No? This one. Earlier? I think we had one of them. I, one, I, 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 this, this again. Yeah. yeah, just fighting against that frame. What do you have to do? I'm going to I'm gonna always kill the hips so the guy comes here. Okay. Here? That, yeah, let's see. You're not talking about half guard? No, You're talking about half shield, shield? Oh, you can say half guard after two. Okay. <laughs> so let's say I'm like this and I'm trying to like stub this. Yeah. Sometimes when the guy's on his side and he has good frames, it's really hard to deal with. I always want to take this guy's legs, stand up, and bring him here. Mm -hmm. okay. So now his body's flat. Now when he tries to push me away, it's very hard. See, the, like your energy is very tough. See how you're trying to push me. Now I can lay on top of him and I come back into second control. So the recipe is when you're dealing with this, never try to pass around it like this because he'll just push against your arm, let's say, and you'll never go get anywhere. Instead, I want to step back and bring him back here, which is called a leg drag. Okay. So I brought his leg into this side, and now as he tries to push me away, it's very hard. I can just, you know, I'm just holding him. Even if this knee is here, the energy that is required of him is, is a lot. Okay, yeah. Start to push. See how like it's so hard to push when you're flat. Yeah. See that? Yeah. If you're on your side, it's really easy to push because he can always escape his hips. Or he can recover. And recover the guard. Yep. Oh no, I messed up. Get my knee in. You see? I'm glad you did that right there. I was like, I was like trying to show that you see how it happens? Yeah. Here, maybe we should uh What about half guard, folks? What about half guard? Let's move forward. Let's here, let, let's be respectful and I, I know he's cleaning the mats and stuff for the other team. Coach? Oh, he says no. Okay. Yeah, it's all you guys. You guys, this is all you. I'm just cleaning around you. Okay. Well. I appreciate you guys being. What do you mean from half guard? So when the guy has it locked up right here, and then he show. And he show the same thing. Do so you want to get his hips? Yeah. So yes. So watch where my hands go. So I got socks on right now. I might slip a little bit, but just try to understand. So I'm running into this knee show, and the guy's framing. It's really tough. Place my hand right here against the hips. 
Okay, right hand, I'm gonna scoop under his leg. Okay, I just scoop under, step my leg up. Okay, step up. Now he's trying to stay sideways. Yeah, like this. I just push and I pull. See, I brought his leg here. Yeah. One is now we go X pass, kick my leg back, knee on stomach. Okay, or we continue the, the plan and we bring him all the way to the side and we can go into what's called side smash. Side, this is called side smash. So he, the side of his body, I'm smashing. Now when he frames me, it's very different than the other side. Okay, this is commonly where you see a guy will get here and then he'll just go to the mount. Some people call that don't mount. It was popular with BJ Penn back in the day. Okay, so half guard. Even at half guard, top knee shields blocking me. Step up, walk him back to center. Either continue, kill the hips, or if he turns back into me, I also might hit a knee cut. As I cut through, put the guy back on his back. It's been the longest two months ever. On the first one, could you get stoner control from where you... No, uh, yes, I can. Okay. So that's a good that, that's a good observation. Surprised you caught that. So if I'm here and I really like stone control, I drop the guy into this kind of position like this. Okay. Then what I do is I go to side smash. I step this leg off. Go here, and then now I'm digging for stoner. Boom. Oh. And take it. But that's a much longer entry. Uh, as opposed to going to stoner, where you just kill the hips from side control. So sometimes like when I'm in side control, this will be a much faster entry. I'm in side control, and I'm here. See this kind of grip? And so when the guy turns into you, then you're gonna have this right here. I just take my leg, and I go, I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> right there, and stoner control's in. See that? So a lot of times you'll have this. The guy will start to twist towards you, like that, and then that's your boom. And now as I thread, see that? Right to lockdown, and he's done. And then boom, 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 boom. And then just look for the vaporizer when the time is right. All right, how much are you gonna pay me? Just joking.